Hey guys, welcome back to Nature's Cadence Farm. Uh, we're going to be working on the Jeep again today, the uh, 97 Grand Cherokee that we have. Today we're going to be working on the speakers in the doors. It's a windy day, so hopefully you don't get a lot of the wind noise. I've tried to, you know, make some changes and get less wind in the microphones and stuff. But either way, uh, so I'm going to show you uh, the passenger side, uh, dry, uh, the passenger side front, and the passenger side rear, and the driver's side. You know, they'll be the same. And then we'll try to get the dash apart and see if we can get some speakers in there. So uh, first we'll start with this uh, passenger side front door and see if we can get some speakers in there. So here's the kit I got. Um, I got this on eBay. It came with this uh, Kicker DSC 350, a couple of those. It had this uh, Harmony Audio adapter something uh, looks like it goes from what the original size was to a different size and uh, let's see some, some maybe it's how to return your item hi-fi sound connection evidently that's where it was here's some uh, looks like pigtail adapters that adapt to your original connection and then they go to the speakers uh, all right that's pretty good and looks like some more of them right here and let's see if we can get these guys out of here so it looks like from what I can gather online that these size speakers that are in the doors they don't make anymore you can't buy aftermarket maybe it's some infinity gold something anyway so it comes with uh, this is a box of two uh, hopefully you can see that yeah, the lighting's kind of bad. Uh, anyway, so, yeah, here we go. So it comes with two of these um, six and a half inch coaxial speakers in a box and two more in another box. And then these must be for the, the dashboard, these little three and a halves here. So, yeah, it looks like everything is, is in the box that I need. It looks like some more pigtails uh, or in the bag that they came in. See what else we got down in here. Let's see, we got another another box of six and a half inch speakers. So, all right, yeah, bag's empty. Nice. All right, so let's get you over here. And if you don't have any audio, I'll play some little music in the background or something. Hopefully, the wind won't be too bad. But I'm gonna try to show you how I take this uh, door panel off to get to the speakers. First, we're going to start with uh, we'll at least take this screw out right here. It looks like that one's pretty pretty obvious. That has to come out. All right, got that. And uh, let's see what's behind door number one here. Uh, just looking for a little screwdriver that I brought with me out here. Ah, there it is. Looks like it's got some kind of little cap right here. We're going to try to pop that off. Maybe it's a little place to pry at the very top of the yep, there's a Phillips a Phillips screw in there. A number two Phillips. Pop that out of there. Let's see. I'm just sticking the screws right there in the uh, floorboard. Looks like there probably is a screw behind here. Yep. There's one right here by the handle. Number two Phillips. Alright, let's see what else. Now it might just be uh, like stuff that's clipped in there. Sometimes you got to get from underneath of here and pick up or pull out. Oh, there's uh, so right here underneath of the handle, there's, there's another screw right here. So just at the very top of it, there's this little this little catch and I just pried a little bit with the screwdriver and it just popped right out so that looks like another 
Phillips, number two Phillips. I'm using a magnetic screwdriver. It kind of helps pull pull some of that stuff out of there. Should be should be it. So started getting some movement here on this panel. Okay. Start, uh, so once we got the top loose, we're going to start popping the bottom off, and then it can pop up and over the uh, the little handle right here for the door release. So there's a couple of connectors behind here. You just got to kind of feel your way behind there and pull them out. Looks like you got to uh, pry up on the catch on this big one. I'll show you once I get it off. How it kind of came out. There we go. All right, so we got two connectors. One's this little black one right here, and that one popped out real easy. And this one I had to kind of wiggle and jiggle a little bit. It's obviously a little bit bigger, but came out no problem. Well, that's it. So there you can see and all the plastic matting is just completely deteriorated don't know if it's gonna make it back on there because it it's just just falling apart completely you can see it's I don't think I've ever had this door panel off which is good I guess never had a problem with anything everything looks okay so here's the speaker we're gonna work on right here uh, Looks like it's got three Phillips screws. Let me get you in here a little bit closer so you can see. There you go. So let's say three Phillips head screws, number two, right here. There's one. And there's two. And three. And then we're going to use our little screwdriver again and pry on the back side of this flange. Feels like it's glued in there somehow. Hmm. That's really glued in there. This little screwdriver, I'm not prying really hard, so I'm not really doing, oh yeah, not a whole lot left of this speaker. Anyways, you can see the paper is just, it's just completely gone. There it goes. Just get in there behind it and that's got it. Perfect. All right. So then it looks like on the back of here, it's got a, um, got a you know like a little strain relief or something on there I'm just gonna use this to uh, to pry it out of the out of the speaker and then we've got the connector here for the the actual electrical connection okay well there's the old speaker Wow that really is is rough <laughs> okay so let's see how many adapters I have. Looks like I have two. I think these go in the front. I don't know. Let's open up a box of speakers and see what they look like. I pulled one of the six and a half inch speakers out of the um, out of the box there, and here's what it looks like. It's got it's wrapped in plastic, which is nice. Uh, like it doesn't have an opening so we'll make an opening all right there we go got this uh 
this nice looking grill here which would be functional if we didn't have it already in a door so that's good all right here's the uh, so here's the speaker it's got this uh, kind of foam and this looks much better this is a coaxial speaker here so it has a tweeter in the middle and then uh, you know the the actual um, speaker the bigger speaker the mid I guess is what this one would be but all right so let's see if it fits in this in this hole it does fit in the hole but it does not match up to the original mounting hole so let's see if this kit here um, from Harmony has everything in there we need Maybe the back ones are larger and it doesn't need these adapters. So let's, let's see what we got here. Smaller. I've got my screws here from the, um, the kicker box that they came in. And uh, so we'll go ahead and mount this. Remember the... Uh, that, that looks like it's just a little too long. And we're not going to use it anyway. So I'm just going to trim that off just to, just to be safe. I'm just using a pair of side cutting pliers here and let's see if that'll just yeah there we go all right and then this one here we'll just trim that off too while we're at it okay that looks nice there we go now i know it won't interfere with anything with the door panels going back on so i'm going to use the original screws that came out of here and they had this kind of a, a resin a glue something on there so okay See, is it all right? We'll just start down here in this bottom, bottom right hand side, going right back where they were. Okay, and now we're going to grab another one, put it right here. Okay, the last one goes in the very top. All right, just tighten them down. I didn't tighten them all the way down when I was putting them in, in case I needed to move it around a little bit. Now that's good and tight. So let's grab the speaker here. Well, actually we need to get our little pigtails wired in there. So here's one set of pigtails. Let's pop one of these out of here. that's gonna plug into the original maybe like that there we go yeah so, all right so that just plugs in with the fat part at the you know at the open window and then the uh, the clip on the smaller side let me get you in there a little closer so you can see that so you can see that there and then that there in the little window all right so now that we have the pigtail we can get the speaker Let's see, we'll go ahead and plug plug the black into the negative, I guess. That'll work. Yeah, the yeah, two different sizes. So the the black has the smaller connector on it, so that just plugs on to the little pin, and then the, the white is a little bit wider, which goes to the, the plus on the speaker here. It's a little bit wider. Alright, so that's plugged in. I'm just gonna Tuck the wires kind of out of the way of the window over to the front of the vehicle so the window won't interfere. I'm going to try to get this thing looking nice and level like that. All right, what I'm doing here is lining up these pre drilled holes that are in the face of this with these little slots that are behind it. And it looks like the very top one here lines up perfectly with that and then you know one of these or two of these over here line up perfectly with the uh, these other slots so it looks like that's how it's supposed to go in there with the I'm gonna run the screw here that came with the kicker speakers I'm gonna use to mount into this little groove that they have into the plastic adapter looks like it's going in there pretty good if it doesn't feel tight enough I might just make my own Oh no, that's plenty tight. Make my own, you know, but I, I think this is going to work out great. Find a little groove over here with this one. 
Oh, feels like it went right in there. That's perfect. And then we'll go with this one again. Yep, that's perfect. Okay. That's very secure. And the wiring is done. So what's next? I guess just putting... Putting the panel back on here, right? Let's do that. Looks like some of my little plastic things broke. Hopefully there's enough to keep it all on there. All right, so we're gonna go back with this large connector down here. Only goes one way, so make sure that gets good and plugged in there. Then with this smaller black connector, goes in the top, clips right in. Now that we have our connectors plugged in, we can go ahead and start pushing these little uh, pushing these little push thingies back in there here before we get that started. Remember, we got to get this handle in here. There we go. Got it. All right. So we got the handle in there, and now we get all these little push thingies lined back up in the bottom, and then work our way up to the top. All right, now we'll just go back and we'll put our screws back in where we took them out of. This one, two, three, and four. And don't forget the little plastic plugs that go over these two holes here.